weapon hunt for a Marine. I was AWOL and trying to kill my ex-wife. That is not accurate at all. Dramatic new developments. He's wanted on fears that he's headed to Metro Detroit armed to kill his estranged wife. And tonight, he's talking exclusively to 7 investigator Jonathan Carlson. That AWOL Marine told Action News he wants to turn himself in, but until that happens, authorities still consider him armed and dangerous. Yeah, Jonathan Carlson's live in the 7 Action Newsroom tonight with an exclusive interview. Jonathan? Yeah, the Marine's family and friends here in Michigan saw my live reports earlier this evening, reached out to him, and begged him to turn himself in. That's when he decided to get in touch. For now, we're live in Oakland County. I'm During my 6 p.m. report on the nationwide manhunt for AWOL Marine Clenard Alex Gee Simmons, the man at the center of it all emailed me. He claimed everyone had it wrong, and he wanted to talk before turning himself in. We immediately went back inside the sheriff's office and alerted authorities. We waited for the sheriff to arrive and took a number of steps to verify it was in fact the man law enforcement was looking for. We then got Guy Simmons on the phone. I'm not going to tell you where I'm at right now, but yes, I'm contacting you because you actually just made like a post saying that I was AWOL and trying to kill my ex-wife. That is not accurate at all. Earlier today, the seven investigators first broke the news that the Marine was considered AWOL by the military. They said he escaped from a lockdown at North Carolina's Camp Lejeune, where he was detained after threatening to travel to Pontiac, Michigan, to kill his estranged wife. The military also said he could be armed with an AK-47. Law enforcement all over the East Coast and Midwest have been hunting him ever since. His wife in Pontiac moved to a safe location. No, I am not armed. You're not armed at all? No. Here's his side of the story. I left base. I was not on my gun. I was not detained. I left base because I have like other issues going on right now, but I left base from like just like stress. I just didn't want to be there at the moment. They took my Facebook post and blew it out of proportion. So what was on your Facebook? Probably, some, probably something of the, like the sort. Has somebody ever made you so mad uh, that you feel like wiping out them and they haunt our family? Do you regret saying that? Uh, yeah, of course. Clearly. I'm nowhere near Michigan. Did you have any plans to come here? Uh, no. Well, I may, po I may post saying that I was probably going to go to Michigan just so like, they won't look for me. So what's your end game here? What's your plan now? Why can't you tell us where you're at if you didn't do anything wrong? Well, I'm going to turn myself in, but just not right now. So who are you going to turn yourself into? Well, I'm going to drive back onto base and right there at the main gate tell them where I'm at. Okay, so you're still in North Carolina then? No, I'm not in North Carolina, but I'm close to North Carolina. Okay. Sheriff Mike Bouchard, listening to our conversation, reacted. They told us that there was information that he had threatened to kill his wife and had an AK-47 and was on the way here. Okay. That's, uh, that's a little more than something was taken out of context. If what he's saying is true, he could turn himself in right now and put an end to this. Now, after that conversation, Guy Simmons continued to text and email me. He won't say where he is, but said very far south. He also said he plans to take a few days before turning himself in. Meanwhile, the military tells us Guy Simmons is a rifleman who was previously deployed in Afghanistan. He's from Detroit. And as we speak, deputies in Oakland County are trying to sort all of this out. Obviously, his statements tonight shake up this whole nationwide investigation, guys. Uh, you would think with uh, Sheriff Bouchard standing right next to you, they might be able to trace that phone call and trace where he is. They couldn't do anything like that, Jonathan, while you were talking to him? No, and they said until they have him in custody, they're not going to take any chances. They're going to protect that wife and make sure that everybody is kept safe and consider this man armed and dangerous and a fugitive until that man's whereabouts are located. All right, Jonathan, we expect he'll probably get in touch with you again, and we'll, of course, stay on top yeah. of the story.